What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another Lumia 9 tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to add people walking and moving inside of your Lumia renderings. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So in order to go through this, what I wanna do is I wanna open up one of the Lumion example models. And in this case, I'm just gonna click on the button for examples, and we're probably gonna bring in this office. Uh, this is a pretty good one for demonstrating people walking. So there's a lot of, um, people models already in here so we shouldn't have to make a whole bunch of different changes all right and so if you so if you go into this example model this has already got some people models kind of built into it and uh, one of the things that's really interesting about Lumion is a lot of these models um, these people or these models are animated people so they're set up right now where they kind of move around as if they're walking or whatever so like for example if you were to click on people and animals and click place and look at our library you can see how the names of these people are basically telling you what they're doing so like for example um, this man asian 0002 walk that's gonna be a walking model that's gonna be animated as if he's walking. Um, the idle one is just gonna be him standing here, but he's still kind of moving around. Um, so you can tell what these are based on the names that are in here. But well, the problem with these, and it's not necessarily a problem, is as of right now, nothing's moving. Um, they're just kind of standing in place. And so if you were to go to like movie mode or something like that and create a new movie, and we'll just, for right now, we'll just have a view of kind of this front office area right here. And we'll go ahead and take a photo. Well, if we were to take a photo, and let's say we wanted this to be a five second clip. So right now, if I was to save the clip and go back into movie mode and then play it, these people would like move as if they're moving, but they're not actually moving in the 3D space. And so what we wanna do is we wanna go in and add an effect where these people are actually moving around. And so in order to do that, we're gonna to need to add an effect up here. And so to start off, let's go ahead and add a style in here. And I keep going back to the realistic style just cause that's gonna give us a little bit of a realistic image in here. I might also just throw in a real sky just cause I like the way that those look. Um, you wanna make sure that your image is still well lit though. So you may wanna find one where the sun's a little bit higher so that these shadows look a little bit more realistic. Um, so, but we've got this in here, but what we need to do is we need to add an effect in here um, of these people actually moving. And so to do that, you're gonna click on this button for add effect. And inside the add effect, you're gonna click on scene and animation. Scene and animation is gonna allow you to animate different movements and things like that. And in this case, I just wanna click on the move. We could do advanced move as well, but the regular move is gonna be fine for me. And so what this is gonna allow me to do is this is gonna allow me to set start and end positions of the different models in here of really anything that I put my mouse over. So you can see I'm getting little icons for each one of these. So like for example, let's say I had this guy. Well, what I want is I want this guy to start right here and end over here somewhere. And so you can see how this allows you to set the start and end, end position of this person. And so what I wanna do first is I wanna click here to set my start position. So this is where this model is gonna start. And then you're just gonna click on this again and you're gonna click and drag this model to set your end position. So now we've set him with his start position over here and his end position over here. So if I go ahead and click confirm changes and we click play, now that model is gonna walk from over here to over here. And you can tell how it kind of depends on how long your clip is, how far he actually makes it. You can see how this clip's only five seconds long, so he only makes it about halfway. But that's okay, because you don't necessarily want him stopping right here anyway. So we've got this, we've got this move set up where we've set this person with a start and end position. We wanna do the same thing with this model. And so for this model, we want to set start position probably over here. And then in position, we wanna set over here as if she's jogging across the scene. And so if we go ahead and confirm our changes, we do this again, you can see how he's walking across the scene and she's jogging across the scene. 
And so one thing I don't like about this clip, though, is when we set this up, she's jogging and he's walking, and they get across the scene at kind of the same time. And what I don't want, though, is she should probably be going faster than him because she's actually jogging. And so what we want to do to make that better is right now... And so what we want to do right now is we don't really have any control over the speed of these models in here um, with the regular move function. You can just set your start and end position. So like for example, let's say we wanted this guy to kind of walk this way at his end position. Like we don't really have a whole lot of control over the speed um, of those models moving. So they just kind of move at whatever the speed is um, that goes in here. And so what I want to do is I want to add a more advanced move function that actually gives me some control over, um, over how quickly these models move. And so in order to do that, you're going to go into your effects and you're going to go to advanced move. So what adv advanced move is going to do is that's going to allow you to set keyframes for these models instead of just a start and end position. And so if you remember, we've talked a little bit about keyframes before, but really those allow you to set a certain amount of time inside of your model or a movement that you want to occur over a certain amount of time. So like for example, I would take this model right here and I would set my first keyframe to be at zero seconds. And then let's say at three seconds, I want her to be about right here. You can see how I can dictate that movement using keyframes. So now at three seconds, she'll be at this point. And then if I was to create another frame, let's say at six seconds, that I want her to be over here, now I have one, two, three keyframes in here that I can add with the advanced move function. So now if I click the play button, you can see how she's moving through the scene a lot faster than he's moving through the scene because we were able to set that as a keyframe. And so because we can set those keyframes, we can kind of dictate the movements and at what point these people models are going to be. And so I'm going to make a quick, I'm just going to come in here and I'm just going to adjust the movements of a couple of these really quick because I want him to be kind of on the same level. Um, let's see, I want her. And you can fly around in here when you're making this adjustment, but I want her in position to be right here. So like she's walking into the door and then I also want his in position to be over here. And so you can see how you can kind of see where the start and end positions of these people models are going to be. And so you can preview that just by clicking the play button. So you can see how she's walking across here, he's walking across here. And you'll notice that this particular model, this guy, because he has a really short distance, when he hits the end of this, he turns around and walks the other direction. And so one thing you may want to do if you don't want this to happen this way because the problem is if I take him and I put him up here he doesn't actually walk up the stairs he just kind of like floats so I don't necessarily want that so what I might do with a model like this one is either have him walk more kind of across or I might use the advanced move function in order to do kind of a keyframe thing for him. And you can see how his orientation automatically changes so that he's pointing in whatever direction his in position's at. And so we'll just drag this over here and we'll click the play button and we'll preview this one more time. So we're just gonna let this run and you can see how this is previewing and all of these people are walking across kind of in the way that we'd like for them to walk. So I, I like the way that this looks. So the only other thing I might do is I might reduce my focal length just a bit so that I can get a view of the sky up above this to give me kind of a full on view of this whole thing. And I'm just going to click on this take photo button to refresh that. Um, but you can see how now I've got this view of these people walking across or running across the scene. This is a lot more realistic than if they were just moving in place. And so once we're done with that, we'll just click the render movie button in order to render that to see how that's going to look. And I'm going to rotate my sky around just a bit to see if I can get this to look a bit more interesting. Maybe try a new real sky or something like that. There you go, with the sun shining off of that or something.
So we don't want to click on render movie. By the way, we want to click on render clip. And so all we're going to do once we have this set up is we're just going to come in here and we're just going to click on the button for render clip. We'll go ahead and render our clip at full HD. And so what this is going to do is this is just going to go in and render our frames and then also um, stitch everything together into a video. So we'll come back in a couple minutes and take a look at our result. All right, so with this complete, if we click on the button for open folder, we can take a look at our rendered image or our rendered video. And you can see how now we have this video scene in here where these models actually walk across your screen as opposed to where they just stand in place and look kind of awkward. So this is actually pretty easy to use in order to create animations inside of Lumion. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Have you been creating animations in Lumion? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.